<laughs> okay. So now I'm going to talk about how to talk to people in real life about the fetish. Again, I am not professing to be an expert on this. I'm just giving my perspective. And perhaps it'll help you interact with other women. Now, I, I, like I said in my previous video, 97% of my viewers are male, but I would so like to change that. I would love, I would love it if there were more women in the lunar community. <clears throat> but I have a feeling that from my own experience over the last 15 years, that it's very tricky to be a Lady Luna. It's quite intimidating and <clears throat> yeah, I'm not surprised that there aren't more women involved in the fetish other than content creators. Yes, now I am a content creator too, but I wasn't always. Um, but yeah, this video is to talk about how we communicate in real life. Um, maybe you've got a love interest maybe you just started talking to somebody online maybe you've been in a relationship a while and you've been keeping it a secret <laughs> now i know all these um i know that happens i know how hard it is i've heard from you i've had quite a lot of messages um and these messages break my heart you know, you're full of shame, you've had really bad experiences, you were caught as a teenager and it made you suppress yourself, you were laughed at, you told a lover they left you. Yeah, some really heartbreaking stories. And um I think it's I think it's all so so sad. <laughs> It's such a wonderful fetish, it's so much fun. <laughs> um, I wondered if I might make a video that would appeal to women. Maybe you could, maybe you'd send this video, <laughs> me chatting about balloons and the fetish, to somebody who you wanted to introduce the fetish to, or you have already, um, and you think that they could do with hearing a, a woman's perspective. <clears throat> Again, like, <laughs> I hate being so gendered, but this is um, specific to this situation, you know. Um, I, I'm a queer lady. I, I love women too. So <laughs> I would love women watchers. Um, but I also know that how women in interact with balloons is pretty different. Like, <laughs> um, for starters, la um, the genitals of um, a cis woman <laughs> are quite different, yeah? Um, and even woman to woman, you know, some have our clitoris on the outside, really easy to rub on a balloon. <laughs> some of them are a little bit more hidden, a um, little bit hard to reach. Um, now I'm going to do lots of umming because it's quite a, you know, it's quite an emotive topic for me. Uh, this is my fetish. It's not something I'm used to talking about either. I have obviously talked to lovers about it, but I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, oh yeah, but I guess most of your lovers are men and men will just do anything that's kinky. <laughs> yes, you're probably right. But I think that... <clears throat> I always would have been open to balloons or someone's fetish had they communicated with me in such a way that made me feel included or such a way that made me feel like it was important how what I experienced with them. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but I'm, I'll probably do a whole series of videos on this after I get your letters. But um, I know that I've had a few messages from you from from guys who are in long-term relationships and have successfully shared their fetish with their loved ones, and they accept them, and occasionally they will instigate play, um, and that's awesome, really, really awesome. But such a few 
such a few small percentage of you and and even those of you who are in relationships who know say that the fetishes are accepted but not shared yeah now I think that one of the things that I would like to you to try as a solution to this is <clears throat> to focus on um, if you're already with somebody intimately then to focus on sensation play perhaps suggest that um, <laughs> you blindfold them and then you just get a small balloon and you you blow it up really slowly touching their ear and their neck and so they can feel your breath and hear this that thing and then maybe slowly stroke the balloon on the body and just find ways, <laughs> I'm not going to go into it, <laughs> find ways of using the balloon to create pleasure, yeah? If you introduce the fetish in a pleasurable way, right, make it fun, make, make it nice, make it about her pleasure, don't make it about your gratification or your fetish or your history or your shame or your trauma, don't make it about you. You know, that can all unfold slowly. <laughs> Just one day at a time, one step at a time. Yeah, She's going to accept your fetish if it's a joy, if it's a pleasure, if it's fun. Um, that's if you're already intimate with somebody. If you're not intimate with somebody already and you kind of want to open up to them before, before you get to that point, really, I suppose, um, you want to you want to tell them i mean what if they are allergic to latex <laughs> oh what if all sorts of things right um you want to find a lunar lady it's probably going to be impossible you know it's um what you've got to do is find somebody that you can trust that you can talk to doesn't matter how kinky or not kinky they are if you can trust them and talk to them, um, then you should be able to share this with them. And that's the most important thing. Trust, really. And being really concerned with her pleasure. Right, number one. You please her, you pleasure her, and the world is your lunibus. <laughs> Yeah, this is. I know that there's a thousand more things I want to say on this, um, but YouTube limits my timing, and um, I just wanted to get the ball rolling. I really, really want to hear from you, uh, madambangs at gmail dot com, about your experiences introducing your fetish to people in real life, whether you're partnered or not partnered maybe you've had bad experiences maybe you've had amazing experiences i really really want to hear it all um and i want to share that um for everybody's benefit right oh, i would love more loony ladies in the world solidarity right i'll do another video about actually pleasuring vulvas with balloons because that's something i do know about <laughs> okay bye for now